Hello students, so now I am going to continue with the topic schools of psychology that is the last school of psychology that is humanistic psychology. Humanistic psychology is the branch which is developed by Abraham Maslow and then later developed by Carl Rogers. They mainly focus on the concept of free will. They say that human beings are responsible for their behavior. They have their own ability to tackle any problems and also face any situations. All are capable of handling their life. So, Abraham Maslow's important concept in his theory of needs is self-actualization. He explains about a pyramid or hierarchy of needs and in that one at the top level there is self-actualization need. So, one has to finish or the or so one has to start from the basic needs and they have to reach the final need that is the self-actualization need. So, according to him every human being have the potential ability to become a self-actualized person and because of lack of self-actualization or lack of satisfying the needs the people develop psychological problems and another concept that is given by Carl Rogers he here he explained about humanistic perspective that is one's ability to control the behavior by developing self confidence. So, that was explained by Carl Rogers. Carl Rogers based on his theory he developed client centered therapy or a specialized therapy or counseling method to treat many psychological problems. So, this is about humanistic school of psychology. Next we are going to know about the research areas in psychology. Let us see what is research first before going to know about the research areas let us see what is research. The term research or an investigation the meaning of research is studying something into a deeper level or it is an in-depth study of any issue that is called research. In research areas there are different areas of psychology earlier we used to call them as branches of psychology. Let us see the different types of research areas in psychology. First one is developmental psychology. What do you mean by developmental psychology? Developmental psychology is a branch of psychology or research area of psychology which deals with the developmental issues. It studies the lifelong processes in its studies or research areas. It deals with children, their developmental issue, adolescent issues and relationship issues in adolescence and life span aspects related to human beings everything so that is called developmental psychology. Next we are going to know about the next research area of psychology that is social psychology. Social psychology is a part which is developed from sociology where psychology is applied into social aspects. Here the psychologists or the research psychologists, so they study about how an individual's behavior is influenced by the society and how his behavior influences the society vice versa. How a person develops his attitude, behaviors or prejudice or perception, how he develops his social cognition, gender related ideas and how he lives in a mass or a group in the society, primary society or secondary society and also how one keeps his internal personal relationship and how a person keeps one's interpersonal relationship with others everything is studied in 
research psychology that is social psychology field next going to know about experimental psychology experimental psychology is the novel branch because of which the psychology has become behavioral science experimental psychology mainly deals with experimental psychology mainly deals with cause and effect relationship it studies about the influence of particular issue or event or stimulus on a particular response so we are studying here the stimulus response relationship between the events now in experimental psychology in one of the earlier classes i have explained regarding wundt and his contribution to the development of experimental branch or lab experimental psychology is another branch of science or psychology which is very important nowadays Impor importance is because that it has made psychology as a behavioral science and a standard science experimental psychology mainly deals with the stimulus and response relationship or cause and effect relationship how a particular stimulus operates on the individual and how it elicits the response and or how it creates a response so that is the major aspect related to experimental psychology in experimental psychology we have many issues like subject and experimenter the person who takes an experiment is called subject and the person who conducts the experiment is called experimenter and the study what we are going to do in which if we are applying any variable then it is called as independent variable and the variables that the response that we are studying are called as dependent variable so here experimental method requires lot of laboratory studies and also well established laboratory so in laboratory setting we can study any of the behaviors that can be accurately studied in the next class i am going to explain about the remaining research areas of psychology thank you